I'm a skilled white Javananga, under a Marie Carnoa. I am Wabri TV. I'm from the Northern Territory. This dream time story I'm going to tell you about is the birth of this moon. Let's go have a look at it. decided to wait until the husband went to sleep and then planned to take their revenge. When they heard him snoring, they knew he was asleep, so they slowly sneaked out of the shelter, taking some hot ashes with them. They collected more bark and put the hot ashes in the bark and started blowing until it burst into flame. Then they lit both sides of the shelter to make sure he couldn't escape. Then, father inside was calling out to them. What are you doing, my dear wives? He called as the fire got bigger and bigger until they couldn't hear him anymore. Then, when the fire went out and they could see him lying burnt with glowing embers all over him, three days he started moving again. The wives saw that he was moving and said, Look, our husband is still alive. He's moving. He moved a couple of times, then he rolled over and curled up into a semicircle. In the darkness, he started to glow brighter and brighter. Then he jumped into a tree and fell to the ground. He jumped again and landed on a branch. Then he jumped from branch to branch, 
tree to tree until he was at the top of the highest tree. Then he said, you people are now called Kupenyandarayara, and I will be called Weary Pilkali. Kupenyandarayara means that people will now die forever, and Weary Pilkali means that he will die but come back to life as a new moon every month. 